So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the um, um, PuTTY to access informatics.muster.edu. Double click on PuTTY.exe in the Programming Tools folder on your virtual desktop. Are you all there? Okay, so on your IP address here or host name, if you've never been using, never used PuTTY before, then uh, don't change the port number, port number should be 22, and then type into uh, informatics, informatics, informatics.muster.edu. Okay, so that's your host name. You cannot see, oh. I thought I'm, uh, you can, oh, okay, all right. So um, I'm going to just use my um, saved profile. But your host, this is a virtual desktop, yes. Oh, where is my? So the host should be informatics. Gamaser.edu. Informatics. Okay, so. And then the username and password would be would be same as what it used for Word to Desktop. Okay. So, um, so I'm going to use user one because that's my um, student account. And for you, probably going to be your first name and last initial. Okay. And then your password, um, who is typing something? Pass <laughs> password would be your first name, capital, uh, I mean, uh, first initial capital with your first name and four numbers, which is your last four digits student ID, if you never use that before, or if you never change that before. Okay, once you get that and then you should be able to open then you will be asked again log in as what and you type in your username to me is user one and my password i can tell you but with the four digit number once you log in you would see something like this you see dollar sign on the end of the pop pop uh, pop-up line then you're good okay so from here, you can do all kinds of it. You can see what files you have, all that, but you don't need to do that, okay? Okay, um, the login is right here. That that's party, yeah. Login. That's what what the same thing. Mm -hmm. Did you use that before? Did you change that before? Um, the IP address. I don't know. They may change it. Ten dot zero. Ten dot nine. Yeah. That is. So once you log in here, I want you to type in my SQL. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, hold on. Okay. So you get in. Good.
All right, so what do you need to do is just type in MySQL dash U um, and then put your username and then space dash P, that means password, and then enter and then put your password in again. And then you will see my SQL and greater sign right here. This means you are in my SQL successfully. So this is the same thing what we did right here. You type in my SQL dash U and then your your name, your username dash P, your password, then you get in my SQL. Once you see my SQL sign, then this means you are in my SQL database okay and then first thing I would like you to do is show database to see how many database you have there database is plural okay every statement with the SQL or with the um, PHP you have to have a semi semicolon okay that's the program language so show database you will see information and the score schema and users users is the one users my i have users because my username is users and matt has have matthew h as a database name and um darius probably have darius w as user as a database name so you can um you can show what do you you can if you want to see what it, what the database have, then you can say um, uh, use. You first have to choose a database to use, and so you say use user one, which you you say Yiming will say use Yiming L, okay, as his database, and then it's saying database changed, okay, and then you can see say show tables to see how many tables you have there okay then you say it's empty set this means I don't have any table okay I don't have any table yet and let's see if I can hmm you don't have to do this but I want to see if information schema have um, have anything there okay so information Skim in. Okay, yeah. So database changed and then show table. Let me see if there's tables in information um, schema. So you got a bunch of uh, tables here. You see that? So this is all the tables right there. And then if you want the columns, um, engines, events, and if you want to, to see, okay, want to see all the record in the events table, then from, so you will say select all from events table. Then all well, events table is empty, so you can't really see anything. I'm just testing to see if anything is there. Well, it's basically it's not many things there. So now I'm going to come back to use my own user one table, uh, user one database to make sure, okay, the database change, that means you go back to user one database, okay? Are you all in the, uh, database one? I mean, uh, your own database now. Okay. Okay. So use whatever your name. I can, I should have, you know, just put, okay. Probably lowercase l. So use the, use first l. Okay. Use your database and then go in show date tables and, and you can sh if you have table then you can show column from table okay so um, so now we are having an empty database which is user one for me and next time I'm going to create um, a table in the database I'm going to create users table in 
user one database. So for creating a table, we're going to just demonstrate a very um, simple one. You have keyword of creating, create table. It don't have to be capital. Um, lowercase is fine. And then you give your table's name. We're going to use the users as a table name. And then I have one, two, uh, actually I only have two um, column here or field here. I probably want to do um, some kind of change. Okay, let me give you an example here. So I, I will type in this. Okay, create table. And then I say users one, users, sorry, users. I Within the users, I want to have a couple of uh, um, more field. One is user ID. Okay, user ID is good. And then I give variable char for character. And then I can give like, um, like integer or something, but Let's just do a simple one with a variable char. And then I would like to have uh, their first name. Uh, again, I'm going to use a variable char. But instead of uh, um, variable char 4, I'm probably going to give 20. Because some, somebody, some people have very long names. So. And then I want to have um, last name instead of first name and then I'm going to have email okay email uh, as variable char mm, probably 30 at least 30 40 probably 40 character okay and then I have to define a primary key primary key space, primary space key, and then I define what the primary key will be, user underscore ID. So that will be the end of my, uh, oh, my statement. I'm sorry? No, not yet. Okay, I'm just typing this in because here is more easy to see. Okay. And no problem. So I'm going to um, giving something like this as a, um, a script in the uh, my SQL, and then they will be able to create a user table. Okay. So back to here. So that's what we're going to do. Um, are you guys ready to move on here? Um, I think there is no way for me to making this fonts bigger. So um, that's why I think it's better, you know, you see my scoring um, rather than looking at the, the blackboard actually. All right, so we're going to create a table. Create table with table name, users, okay. And then parenthesis, you can close parenthesis and put a, uh, um, semicolon at the end, or you can wait until later to do that. User ID, underscore ID, okay. And then space, variable char, var char, V-A-R-C-H-A-R. -A -A so I'm going to put four because I just need, uh, you know, a thousand people. So comma, comma as, the, the, you know, separating the other uh, variables. So, um, the other field, first name, 20, and last name, 20. okay, and an email, forty, okay, and then last one primary key and I put a user ID there okay so um, so that's the I double check that create table users user ID variable chart for first name variable chart 20 last name variable chart 20 email variable chart 40 primary key 
user ID. So that's the end, and I enter and query OK. So